This video will show you how to use CQ Researcher. CQ Researcher provides in-depth and professionally fact-checked reports written by journalists on a variety of current issues. The reports provide background information, an overview of the current situation, pro and con arguments, and much more. To access CQ Researcher, go to the library homepage and click on the Databases and Articles button under the OneSearch search box. Then in the A to Z menu, click on C and scroll down until you see CQ Researcher. Click on the title. If you are off campus, you'll be prompted to log in with your one login username and password, the same username and password you use to get into Canvas. Here is CQ Researcher. If you're not sure what you want to research, go to the tabs under Browse By. The default tab is the Topics tab. Scroll down to check out the icons for different general topics. Let's click on Housing and Development. This gives us a list of reports that fall under that general topic. You can browse these reports to explore what interests you. Let's go back to the CQ Researcher homepage. If you know what you want to research, you can type in your search terms into the Search with CQ Researcher search box. I'm going to do a search for housing affordability. Here are our results. I'm going to show you some of the quick filters options from the menu on the left. If you want more recent articles, you can limit your results to publication date. Under the quick filters menu on the left, select publication date, then use the slider to limit by publication date. Click on the blue apply filter button. Let's take a look at one of these reports. I'm going to choose the report Homelessness Crisis. Each report is divided up into sections. You can skip to specific sections of a report using the tabs. There's an introductory information that includes a general overview of the topic that highlights key points, background information that provides historical context to the topic, and a chronology that gives a timeline of important events related to the topic. Let's look at the current situation section of the article. The current situation gives you information on what's happening with issues related to the topic when the report was written. The Pro-Con tab provides short essays from experts arguing for or against an issue around a topic. The Outlook tab provides projections from experts on what they see happening in five or ten years. Let's go back to the introduction. In some areas of the article, there are linked, clickable numbers by some sentences. These are footnotes and are how information is cited in CQ Researcher. If you click on a number, it will take you to the list of footnotes, which allows you to see where the author got their information. You can use these to trace back to the source and discover more articles related to your topic. Finally, let's look at the functionality buttons on the top of the report. To get the citation for the CQ Researcher article, click on the Cite button and it will give you the option to get the citation for the article in different formats including APA, Chicago, and MLA. You can send the report to your email by clicking on the Share button. You can also download the report as a PDF by clicking on the Download PDF button. To review, CQ Researcher is great for detailed reports on current issues. Reports provide overviews, background information, a timeline, pro and con viewpoints, and more. Check footnotes to trace information back to the source. You can cite, email, and download CQ Researcher articles.